Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Beta Colony. This is a game where Earth has gone wrong, imagine that, and we have fled on a ship and we have found some potential colonies that we could settle on and we're trying to advance them, build them up so that one can become the Beta Colony. And how will we do this? With dice and stuff. So I'm going to be playing a two-player game today against Little Glass Marty. And what else should I say? If you don't like handheld videos, thank you for sticking with me this long. But there is a static camera that you can go to in the description. Hello, static cameras. And I would always recommend you turn on the subtitles to the Klingon channel, because if I've made any mistakes, they will hopefully be on there for you to see. So in this game, we each have four different colored dice. At the start of a round, the start player, which is me, rolls them. And then everybody copies those dice. So everybody's going to have the same dice to go into the round with, but we're going to be doing different things with them. I've already done that to save all of the cuts and things. So we start off with two random materials as well. And that's, that's basically it. So on your turn, you're going to be using two of your dice for an action. And then it's going to go around, come back to you. You'll use the other two dice for an action. And that's the round. And there's going to be nine rounds in the game. There's three cycles as well. And each cycle has a card associated to it, which is an opportunity to score bonus points if you can satisfy the conditions. Now, the one we've ended up with for this first cycle is we can have four points at the end of this cycle, so the end of the third round, if we have two crew adjacent to a colony center. These are the colonies, these three here. And we want our crew, these uh, dancing Zeds, to be next to the center of uh, the colonies for the points. It also gives us a special power or a rule change. So in this case, at the start of the cycle, which is now the first round of it, in turn order, each player may take one material from the supply. So hopefully we've been planning ahead. We've got our starting materials. We can see colors we might need in the pods that are available or the places we might want to lay them down. So we get to pick an extra material. I think I'm going to go for blue, and Marty is going to go for orange. And we'll get into why later on. I'll be explaining the game as I go along. So now we start with the actions. So one of the dice that you'll be using determines how far your ship is going to move around this rondelle. It moves clockwise, unless you've got a special ability that says otherwise. And the other dice you're going to be using determines kind of the power, the effect of the action that you're taking. So, for example, if I wanted to use these two dice, I am the blue player. I started off over here. We can pick anywhere, but we just have to be in different places. I could spend one die to move myself one space because there's a one on the dice. And then I can use the other one as the power of the action. This one here going to the Ridback, which is the ship itself. We can get fuel, which allows us to manipulate the dice. And depending on the value of the die that you send there, you will get more fuel. So me sending a one there would just get me one fuel. But if I had used my six as the other dice for the power of the action, I could have three fuel instead. Whoops, and speaking of fuel, we should each start off with one of it. Now, fuel lets you adjust your die by one. You can't make them, they don't wrap around, so I can't spend a fuel to turn a one into a six. Uh, I can't turn it to a zero either, but you can turn a six into a seven. You know, if you, uh, if you really, really wanted to. So what am I going to do? So I have started, I'm over here, aren't I? I have got some materials. I could go straight into building some colonization pods, which is kind of the main thing. We've got area control on these boards here, and we are trying to build light colored things to get the most influence. So I could end up there. How many spaces away is that? That's three spaces away. So, of course, I picked this location, but I didn't know what numbers were going to be on the dice. So it's not like you can completely plan ahead with your starting location. So I could, I'm, I'm thinking now, I could use, you know, my, my two and go over here, get some more resources, and then my one to go over there to get myself a pod. And the game does involve, you know, that planning ahead and hoping that things are still there when you spend your dice. So when we come to get these pods in uh, in a in a turn or so time the number that you spend for the action itself determines the row you're allowed to take from so if i you know if if i really really want this this red one there's only one there so you know i i need to make sure i save my six for a start so i can take from that row as it is i have got a variety of materials so don't have to worry too much about that and that is red by the way you can see the the colors are a little bit different on there but they it's got the science symbol I'm sure there's a name for it. Anyway, 
So if I I could either use my one to go there and then my two to go there next turn, and I'd get some more fuel, some more dice manipulation later on, or I could get myself some more resources, some water and some test tubes. And there there is a special space on the the resource gathering spaces. You'll see there's this little red square here and a point symbol, that's what that one is. So if I move there, so I would need to use my two to move there, and I use my red die for the action itself, not only would I get the most resources, I would get two resources of my choice, but because I spent a red die there, I would get myself a point. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Now, the particular faction that I belong to has a special power. I get a water when I collect from Nebra, collect from that planet there. And my other special ability is when I take pods... I can use the black die as any value, so I don't have to particularly worry about the value on my dice as long as I save the black one when I want to go and get the pods. So my first action, I'm going to grab these two dice. Then over at the rondelle, I'm going to use this one to move. So one, two. And then I'm going to use the six as the power of the action. So I get two resources of my choice here. I'm going to take two orange because I'm getting a bonus water anyway for collecting from Nebra. So that's getting me two oranges and a blue there. And you do have a limit on materials. You can only have 10 at the most. So I have six now. I spent the red die for the action. So I get myself a point that puts me on the board there. And what I'm thinking of for the future, though partly I want to get over here. That's why I wanted to use a two and then a one. But the reason I chose those resources in that configuration is we have these buildings that we can build over the course of the game. Uh, the buildings you don't get a choice of. They are just uh, the, the one at the top is the one that you can build. This is worth eight points and would get me a fuel if I built it. And these are the resources that you need. So in that one action, I don't have the green still, but I've just gotten three of the four resources I'll need for this in the future. So hopefully that's going to pay off for me. And that's the end of my turn, so these go into the spent dice section. I will say as well, hopefully it doesn't come to this, but if you don't want to or can't take an action, you can always get fuel. You have to spend two dice, any two of your dice, and you just pick up one fuel. It's kind of a last resort thing, but it might uh, help you get out of a sticky situation. So that's my turn, and we move on to Marty. And I think that he is going to go straight into building a colonization pod with his starting materials. So he is going to need a two to get to the manufactory. And there are, two, there are two on the rondelle there. So he is going to definitely be using the two to get there. But which, which pods does he want? Now, the way that these have come out on the top row there, they have a three on them. That's kind of their influence value. So they will get you a lot of influence, will move you up these tracks of the various colonies and get you all sorts of bonuses. The downside for getting that much influence from one tile is you see just to the left of the three there is a crew member with a, a cross through it. You don't get to put a crew member out, which you usually do when you make a, a colonization pod build. That's poorly phrased, isn't it? When you build a colonization pod. So Marty doesn't really want those. Trouble is, his only other option is the six there. And the six is best saved for materials, really. But I think he's going to have to use it. So yeah, in, this, in the same configuration as me, actually, he's using the same dice. So the two moves him two spaces on the rundown. And spending the six means that he takes from the very bottom row. So what does he want? He... You need to spend the material of the color of the pod that you want to build. So he hasn't got a red resource. He's got uh, pink and orange. So he's going to take the blue. So he grabs this pod. We need to refill from the stack as well. So another blue comes out. And he can decide where he wants to put it. Now, the place that he puts it down has to correspond to the color of another material that he's spending. And the choice between these colonies is basically, what rewards does he want? Now, he'll almost, he'll, he'll certainly go past the first space, so does he want a point and a material of his choice, a point and an artifact, which can be used as any material, or can be used to build the special statues that give you special point scoring opportunities for the end of the game? Or does he want 
a 0.2 fuel. Now this pod comes with two free fuel, so he's not as worried about that, I don't think. I think he might want to work on artifacts. Now, he does want to be in the center, doesn't he, for the, you know, the, the goal for this cycle, have two crew adjacent to a colony center. So I think he's going to spend his orange and come down here. So he spends a blue to take the pot itself, an orange because he's placing it in an orange space, and he chose one next to the colony center for the extra points at the end and the influence, which we'll see now. <clears throat> he takes a crew member and places it on the pot. And now we work out his influence. The influence is the number that's on the tile that you just placed. So he gets one. You get an extra one for being next to the colony center. So that's two. And you get an extra influence for each pod of the same color that you have just placed adjacent to. To a maximum of three. You can't have groups bigger than three that are touching of the same color. So as there's nothing there, he doesn't get any extra there. So he gets one, two influence, and that moves him up the track of this colony two spaces. So he's going to get himself a point. He's on the board as well now. And an artifact. So Marty's got a crew on that colony now. This is important for the end of the game. The difference between players in the number of crew members they've got in each colony is worth points and can be worth a lot of points if you've got a big difference going. So I have to watch out that Marty doesn't get too far ahead over there. So my second turn now, I have two ones to spend. I'm using the blue one to move on I because I can use the black as any value when I get a pot. So I move one space and then I can spend my black die on any pod that I like. So at the top, again, I can have loads of influence, but I don't get to place a crew member. That's not very attractive. I can get... The two influence ones don't come with any bonuses, like the free fuel that Marty got, or was supposed to get. I'll give that to him now. The ones have a power like you've seen from Marty, so that gr building that green there would get me an artifact. But I think I'm going to go for one of the zeros. Now, I don't have a green, so I'm going to be going for this blue one here, so the one that just came out. And I would like to muscle in on Marty's territory, actually. I'm going to do that. So I need to spend a blue to take the pod. And I'm going to spend a red to place it down because I don't need to save a red for the building that I'm planning for later. I'm going to play a red to be able to put it over here. Now I get to place a crew member on there as usual, but this symbol means instead of one, I place two on it. So now I have two crew adjacent to a colony center. I don't need to worry about that for the rest of the cycle. And I'm now beating Marty in the colony that he started in. Downside is I'm getting less influence than I could have gotten, but I'm getting the same as Marty because the zero on the tile, one for being adjacent to a colony center, and an extra one for being adjacent to a blue. So I'm getting two influence just the same. I get myself another point and an artifact. And for Marty's last turn, he's going in uh, kind of the reverse order that I did. He is going to spend this blue one to move. So he's going over here to... Gio? Gio. And then he is going to spend this black one, which, you know, would only get him one resource. But we haven't seen Marty's special powers yet. He gets one extra food when he collects from that planet. Carefully not um, trying to mangle the name again. And he, when he uses a black die to collect materials, it counts as a six, the best one. Okay then, so Marty's black die is counting as a six. He's not getting any extra points. You need to spend blue dice to get the extra points so if he'd done it the other way around he would get fewer resources but he could have had a point instead as it is he's getting two of his choice between pink and red so pink is food red is palladium but i probably will forget that and keep saying pink and red i'll remember food surely so he's getting a pink either way he's getting a food no matter what happens so should he take two red in that case since red is you know it's 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 out there as a pod. Yeah, there's not, there's not really much going into his decision either way, I don't think. Red is next to these blues, so he could make a nice collection of them, maybe. Yeah, he'll get two reds, and then he's got two reds, two pinks. And that is the end of the first cycle. We move the marker down. Big reach. And then we pass the start player over to Marty. And it's time for him to roll the dice. So that's what he's ended up with, and I need to copy that now on my dice. 
I think Marty is going to go straight for pods again. He's going to spend his six to move because that brings in one, two, three, four, five, six all the way around there. And he's going to spend. Let's see. I don't think it particularly matters which color he keeps. He's going to spend his two so he can take something from the first row. And it's going to be the blue pod for three influence. Downside, he doesn't get to put a person down. New one comes out, and it's green. There's loads of green out now. So that might be a thing to watch out for. He's going to place it on Thebes again. So he doesn't get to put a crew member on it. But working out his influence, oh, he needs to spend a blue to take it. He hasn't got a blue. He's going to spend his artifact, which counts as anything. And then he needs to spend a red for the space that it's gone in. And now his influence, three on the tile itself. Nothing extra because he's not next to the center. But he's next to two other blues. So that's five influence. One, two, three, four, five. That's not his piece. More impressive if you actually use his piece. So he's going to get himself three materials of his choice, two fuel, and three points. Marty is just going to take three greens as his materials. Now, as for me, I'm almost ready with the resources for the uh, Spacey Eiffel Tower there. I just need a leaf. So I think I'm going to come over to this space. I want to save my artifact. I want to try and build up three later on to get a statue. But for now, yeah, let's... Now, I could use the two to move here and the two as the action so I can get the bonus point for, for this planet because you need to spend green dice for the bonus point. I couldn't boost it so I got two resources, though, so I would just be getting one resource with an action, which isn't as nice. I could forego the point and get uh, the two resources instead. I think that's a good idea purely because of how many green pods there are out at the moment. And that Marty's probably going to be going for them. So I think, yeah, I'm going to move two with the red. One, two. And then I'm going to use the six as the power of the action, which gets me two. I'm going to take green for both of them. Okay, Marty's up next. And I have to say, he's four spaces away from the pod factory. But it's very tempting for him to spend. You know, he's got five fuel. He could spend two of it. You know, be able to get over there. I think he's yeah he's just gonna try and build more and more while he's got the while he's got this excess of resources thanks to all of the bonuses from that influence he's gonna spend the two fuel so that he can go over there he has to take something from the top row though so he could either have a lot of influence on the left there but no crew member again or he could have the one influence and he would get some points as well now, if he spent two more fuel, he could go up there, get, get even less influence, but get two crew members on there. I think he is going to go for masses of influence. So he needs to spend a green to take the pod itself. He's then going to spend a pink, I think, and place it over here on Kuzco. Because he'd like to get up this influence track, because towards the end of this influence track lets you put more crew members out, not necessarily on your own pods. You know, if you, if you have no presence on this planet at all, you could put your crew members on other people's pods to, you know, just try and count towards the majority at the end of the game. So he doesn't get to put anything out, but he does get three, four influence. One, two, three, four. So he's going to get himself a point, two fuel, an artifact, and a material of his choice. He's going he's gonna to keep going green. Okay, over to me. I feel like I am behind on building pods. So let's separate the resources I want to save. I have green and yellow to spend, which, you know, if I put the green there, it's not in the center, but it would still get influence from being next to this green one. That could be something to think about. Or I could even go for the yellow one that's just come out instead. A lot of influence, but no crew member. Yeah, I think I might put the building on hold a little bit i'm going to yeah piggybacking off marty putting that green in there i'm going to go to the factory with my one and then with my two i have to take something from the top row and it's going to be the green so now i can build it there and get myself the two influence but i could build it here by spending the blue i wanted to save 
and get an extra influence. So I would go up to there. I wouldn't get the artifact like Marty did, but yeah, that's that's quite close, isn't it? I think I'm going to do it. Yeah, so I spend the green for taking that pod, and I spend the blue to place it down. I put a crew member on there and get myself two points, so I am catching up a little bit. Five to four now. That's the end of the cycle again. I'm the first player. I need to roll the dice, and this is the end of the cycle, so you need to make sure that you've got uh, two crew adjacent to a colony center. As it is, we've both done that. So I've got uh, some, some higher numbers compared to the first two rolls. Okay then, for my first action, I am now missing a blue. Well, some water, let's say. And I'm three away from Nebra. So I'm definitely spending my three to swing on over. And what would I like to use? I could use my red. It's a six. I would get the most resources and a point. I'm going to go for that, yeah. So I get to choose, I think, I'm about to spend all of the polymer, the orange, when I do my building. So I think I'm going to take one of each and then I get a bonus water. So it's going to be one polymer, two water and a point. Whoops, just noticed that I forgot to give myself the <laughs> rewards for putting my, uh, my thing down there and getting the influence for it. So it's one on the tile, two because it's next to there three because it's next to another green tile and I chose pink just because I don't have any pink Marty's turn he's still got loads of resources does he want to just does he want to just keep building he's got a three is he three away one two three yeah he's three away from the factory again and he's got a nice range of dice and a ton of fuel so presumably he can do what he likes yeah he's gonna spend his three and his five he's gonna come over to get Another pod built. Spending his five, he's going to grab the green from here. Because he can spend the green and either the pink or the red, it doesn't matter too much. I think he's going to spend the pink to place it over here. New pod that comes out is yellow. And so he needs a crew member on there. He gets an artifact. So he's got two of them now. If Now he was spending them, wasn't he, as wild cards. He's one away from being able to get a nice statue. And then we work out his influence. It's one, two, three, four. Which, for placing that tile down, is the maximum bonus, really. The most you can ever get is uh, six, isn't it? If you placed a three tile and three, four, five, six. That's the most you could ever get from a tile. But hey, one, two, three, four isn't bad either. So he goes one, two, three, four. He gets three points. One, two, three, racing into the lead again. And he gets to place a crew member anywhere. So, well, on any pod, not just floating in space. But so he could catch up. You know, he could go ahead on here or he could catch up on Thebes and try and negate my, uh, my lead. I think... Yeah, for, for now it's not as important, is it? Now, it would have been nice, the second cycle's bonus is have crew on four different pod types. As it is, we've kind of been piggybacking off each other's colours, so there's only two types out there. He's going to go on Quizco. It's the same result, really. He either negates my lead or gives himself the same lead on a different colony. Either way. My turn, and I was going to do my building at last, but I don't feel like I should skip over the pod building, so I'm going to do some more of it. I'm going to spend my one to move myself one space, and I have a five. So can I build something from the fives without wasting the resources I need to save? What do I need to save? The green, two orange, and a blue. So I've got lots besides that. So I could build the yellow or the blue. Let's build yellow, because we want, we want different types, don't we, for that uh, bonus. So we'll build a yellow one. New one that comes out is pink. And where do we want to go? Do we want to go on a, on a brand new planet? Do, do I want to catch up on the influence track of this one? Do I want to really concentrate on Thebes now that I've already got a lead going? Let's see. Now I want to go next to the center, and here I don't have the colors to spend to keep going next to the center. So I think I might make a, a brand new start. 
Yes, I'm going to come over here to Zion, Zion, and place it on a blue, so I need to spend the blue as well as the yellow. And no bonus for this. I do still get one crew member on it. And my influence is two, three. So I go one, two, three. So that's four points and two fuel. One, two, oh, that's not me. Whoops, I think I've given myself some of Marty's points. One, two, three, four. I think that's right now. Subtitles will put you right there, won't they? So uh, that is my action. I built another pod and I am right next to the space where we can get the cultural achievements, the buildings and statues. Hopefully we'll be doing that next turn. Marty, he's got a one and a six. So without fuel, he, he's got enough fuel to basically go where he likes, hasn't he? He could spend his six and subtract it by two and build a pod himself. I think he'll hold off for now, though, and just get some more resources. He's going to spend his one to move and then his six to get the resources. So he gets two and he gets a bonus food thanks to his power. So I think, yeah, he will. He'll take a food himself, get the bonus one, which is two, and then he'll get a palladium. So he's got uh, two reds, two pinks again. And that's the end of the third cycle. So now as an extra thing, we look and see if we've achieved the goal. So have two crew adjacent to a colony center. Marcy's done it. I've done it. So four points each. And that's the end of basically a third of the game, three of the nine rounds. And we just keep going. There'll be different objectives and powers though. So in the second cycle, polymer can be used as anything. So really useful to have. But if you would like to keep watching that, I'm going to stop this one for now. If you have seen enough and you want to know what I think, you can click the link on the screen there. But if you would like to explore the galaxy further, well, explore these colonies a bit further, then you can stay with me until the end if you'd like to and click the link for that instead. It's up to you really, isn't it? Thanks for watching this one, though, and I'll see you wherever you end up. Bye.